Hello everyone, Dokior here, and welcome to another random Minecraft video. So, in the most recent update of the dog mod, Update 45, waypoints were added, and that was a huge and really exciting feature to have. And I noticed not long after the update came out that quite a few people were asking how to use waypoints, and seemed to be confused about um, how the entire waypoint system worked in that, so I thought today I would make a quick video just going over waypoints and how to use them and how they operate and all of that. So to begin with, let's enter my TARDIS here and make a waypoint. So if you just right click on any TARDIS monitor, you get this GUI that comes up and we notice that the waypoint button can now be clicked on and that will bring up this screen. You'll notice that I don't have any waypoints on here right now, but to make a waypoint, you just click on this black bar here and then you just type in the name of the waypoint that you want. Um, first, obviously, have your TARDIS in the location of the waypoint that you want to add. That kind of goes without saying. And then just type in a name that will help you remember what this location is. So, just say like Mushroom Forest, for instance. And then you just click on Add New. And the waypoint's going to be put over here on the right. So, in order to um, travel to that waypoint, we just dematerialize the TARDIS and wait for that to dematerialize and then just go over into your waypoints click on the waypoint that you want to travel to click on select and then rematerialize and you'll be taken to that location so since we didn't really since I only have one waypoint on here we didn't really travel anywhere so we're obviously just going to go out in the same place, but it will work for uh, separate waypoints than that. So if you want to edit the waypoint, say change its name, you just click on the waypoint and click on the black bar and you can just change the name there. Click on save edit and that will change the name of the waypoint. Then when you click on the waypoint, it will also show you the dimension that it's in and the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the waypoint as well. So to say you clicked on the wrong waypoint to remove it, click this arrow over here and it will deselect that waypoint for you so you can select another one. And finally, if you want to get rid of the waypoint, you can just click on this X and it will delete the waypoint for you. So the way the waypoint system works as to how the TARDIS knows which waypoints to bring up, it is specific to the interior in the sense that the waypoints that will show up on the monitor will be of those of the last TARDIS that you entered. So as an example of that, let me summon in another TARDIS. So this TARDIS right now has no waypoints in it, you saw that, but if we go into this TARDIS, once it materializes, and we take a look at its waypoints, you'll see that I have quite a few waypoints in here. And so the waypoints, you can think of it as are specific to a TARDIS interior, but the way they actually work is the last interior or exterior that you entered. So if, if I were to fly from, say, the interior of this one through the TARDIS dimension to the interior of that one and right-clicked on its monitor, it would actually show me all of those waypoints in here because this is the last TARDIS I entered. So much like the TARDIS key, uh, blank TARDIS key will just summon the last TARDIS you entered. The waypoints that will be shown will be of the last TARDIS that you entered. So, logically this will work because each TARDIS has its own interior, and therefore you have to enter a certain TARDIS to get to that interior, and therefore, once you click on the monitor and click the waypoints, it will be the waypoints for that interior. So, you can think of waypoints as being specific to the interior that you've last entered, to always take you, or the exterior that you last entered will always take you to a certain interior and that way that interior will always have these specific waypoints and that will work so on if you go on to different monitors and that it will still show you the same waypoints even though if you have like two monitors in this interior or whatever so if I just uh, place down another TARDIS monitor somewhere it will still give me those waypoints because it's tied into this TARDIS interior or technically the last exterior that we entered. Hopefully that isn't too hard to follow, but that's how the waypoint system works. So one more time with a tutorial for the waypoints. So if you dematerialize your TARDIS, 
go into your waypoints after you put them in. I can then select a certain waypoint by clicking on it. It'll give me the dimension and the coordinates. We can click on select. We can rematerialize. And then upon entering, we should have traveled to the waypoint. So, third time's a charm. Maybe not. Are we... And it says we're still in flight. Okay. There we go. For some reason, it didn't rematerialize the first time. Okay, I'm stuck in here. And as you can see, it will automatically take you to the exact location that you want to go at. So here I am back on the moon base. So obviously waypoints very convenient for traveling around, around to different, uh, different preset locations and that. So that guys is a quick tutorial on using waypoints. Uh, quite simple to use in my opinion and uh, very nice for just traveling around different places. You don't have to memorize coordinates or anything like that. So very nice thing to have. So thank you as always for watching guys and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now.